I have, I have tried the War Q helmet now. Many people say it. I, I don't know if you hear me even. Uh, the the War Q helmet <coughs> seems very nice. I have uh, many reviews saying you could see really good in the War Q helmet, but as you see, even even though I made the opening a little bit bigger. It still was very, ah, oh, okay, I need to cut out that too, to see, good, ah, okay. Um, and the hearing, it's it's really hard, when when you have it on the head, uh, the, the carton really scrapes against the head and it moves. I guess, I guess uh, I need to do something about the inside to um, make it fit better. I'll have to go back to the safe sound now and see if uh, I do anything wrong. But so far, uh, I mean, it's, 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 a nice, it's a nice helmet, uh, good view, cool little markings there, feeling really tactical. It's nice drab brown, so it doesn't stand out in, in the nature. So um, I'll have to go back and read the instructions manual right now. And uh, we'll see if I can uh, find out uh, why it uh, wobbles around yeah. on my head. Or Q. Instructions for use. Okay. Uh, yes, the same sort of picture. Aha, uh -huh, some kind of webbing. That's what I seem to be missing. Why it, why it is moving around so much on my head. I need to find that webbing. It seems to be in this. Oh. Ah, okay. So now I'm actually trying the real War Q helmet. And I noticed one thing uh, immediately, and I don't know actually if there are uh, other ways of putting it on. I've just actually taken it out of the box and trying to put it on. I normally wear glasses. These are prescription safety glasses. I'm a, a glasses wearer. I normally use ordinary glasses too when not playing. Uh, so I was just trying to put this on um, <clears throat> with the other safety glasses on me just because I'm too lazy to change right now. And what I found is that it's manageable with a couple of tries, but it is, <clears throat> it is a bit tight. I can't say that it's a bad thing. You can still get it on with some practice. And these are not the slimmest of glasses. They still stick out just a little bit. Uh, and you can get them on. Get the helmet on with actual safety glasses on. So right now I have two layers of protection. I have the War Q helmet and I have the safety actual glasses under. And I will go out and uh, play a full round in the helmet to just make a first, um, oh, that's interesting, I don't know the English word for it, uh, 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 the f fogging, the fogging of the uh, lenses, because that's one of the things in Sweden at least, that's a big problem, There's, it's all often hot when playing outdoors, uh, when it's in uh, good weather, and it's humid, so, um, Many people have a lot of problems with other glasses that they fog up and the War Q, they say that uh, you don't fog up in this one, so let's try it. I put on the War Q helmet, I've changed to my normal uh, civilian glasses under it. I found that it was a bit hard to put on the helmet with my normal glasses under. Uh, still, with a bit of practice, it uh, was manageable. But I feel that the uh, slimness of the helmet, that actually makes it look good, uh, make it hard to wear uh, normal specs under this helmet, uh, or at least putting it on. Uh, now I'll go out and play a bit and see how it feels. Blå kommer in på banan. Fuck yeah! So, uh, welcome to the CQB Arena in south of Sweden, in Kågröd, called Hippie City. 
And you see, you see how, how sweaty you get in this condition. Oh, yes. Are you sweaty? Oh yes. Do you think I will fog up when I run with this helmet? Uh, yes. Okay, let's try it. Yes. We are playing a domination game with chess clocks on uh, some areas. Uh, I'll obviously not be able to uh, be fully functional, but I'll try. Because I want to give you an in-game action report on how you actually breathe and feel. I think I'll sweep that one away. There, now you can see. I'll try and film myself, not because it's fun, because you'll see how I breathe, how I pant, and So I'm just checking out, I'm checking out the field to see where the clocks are. I found one, obviously. I think one will be in our fortress over there. Let's go. Oh, bra. Var har vi klockorna? En här inne blå. Där, ja. Och en där uppe. Den har tagit den blå. Då måste vi ha en inne i fortet. Karamba! Worth, so much worth. And I'll actually run back, not because I want to, to respawn, but just to push the limits on this fucking helmet. Since I'm running, there's a fair bit of uh, motion wind going through the helmet and it feels good ventilated, actually, with compared to other helmets and uh, goggles and stuff that I've had. And yes, this is my gun. Hashtag pink tactical. Hashtag go pink or go home. Hashtag pink airsoft. Two. Okay, two. Uh, it's a two player respawn now, uh, since we're not that many. So, uh, out we go. I'll try the fortress clock again just to be running a bit. I'm not playing smart right now, I'm not playing tactical. I'm pushing the limits on this helmet just for the sake of it. So I'm gonna run, even though I hate running. Oh, he's up there. Tonet! Porter Tonet! He's up at the tower. I uh, think. And I'll try another rush to the house over there. Uh, so far, no fogging, not even on my own spectacles. Three, two, one. Ooh. Almost crashed right into. Damn! There's no watch here. I thought it was inside here. But there's the watch, and it's ours. There's the watch, and it's already ours. Hi! They have me under heavy fire in here. They see me through the slits. I'll try and... Fuck! There are two people pinning me down right now. Yep. Things moving right over there. No. I can see the shadow. <laughs> so out. Target! Get my guard! And I'm running again. And I don't like running very much. But I'll do it for this test. So far, no fogging! Woo! Screw you! Two people respawn, right? Yes. Yes, go! Go, 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 go. Wow! Oh, that was tom. It was Jag, it was Jag! Come back to you, come back to you! I'm going to the hotel. 
red chest clock, we need to make it blue. Yes, I'm walking over the field. <laughs> he, our teammate just threw his gun at another teammate because he was out of ammo. That's the way we roll. Actually, this would be a good, pretty good test also at the audio out of this helmet, if you actually hear me good or not. Okay, now I'm pinned down. Damn! Target! Okay, I'm running! <laughs> Not one goddamn bit of fog. I don't like this running anymore. But it's really good anti-fogging test, I guess. And even though my own sweat perspiration should be fogging up maybe the lenses or my own glasses, nothing's happening right now. It's actually really good ventilation in this helmet. Whoop! Enemies! Okay, so one enemy over there and one enemy over there. That's called pinned. You must have seen my shadow moving in here. I'll just try a bonsai. Okay, live, live uh, commercial here for you, Warq Helmet. He's on live stream on Facebook right now. I bet he has like one, one, uh, one viewer. This is Warq Helmets. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll try. I'll try a great run around and then I'll actually just stop uh, because that's usually when I fog up when there's not ventilation. Yeehaw! As you see also the helmet doesn't move much and I ha actually haven't fastened my chin strap. It's just the uh, uh, fastening. Okay, so now I'm really wound up. I need to jog back. Yeah, jog, jog. Because it's fun to jog. Mental note, speed up these parts. Oh my god. I think I'm dying. New no game. Okay, so that's so that's game. Let's let's walk into the safe zone and just see what no moving wind inside this helmet does. Oh, freak. Uh. <laughs> Just the, the light breeze here makes it actually very comfortable to use this helmet. No. That seems right now. Right now, this that uh, small problem seems to be the only drawback right now. The actual slim chin part. Being so slim, not being full-faced, making it actually really hard to put on and take off with normal glasses on. Um, but I, as I said, I, I'm not actually willing to give that 
as uh, 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 negative really because it's if you don't have massively big hilted big hilted glasses if you have slimmer glasses <coughs> it will fit better and it does fit it's just a little bit fiddling uh, I'll see if I can take it on again and see if you can see how I fiddle with it So fully opened the uh, extra strap fully opened and I cannot see any kind of clicks like folding it up and I haven't seen any commercial about it folding it up like a, a two-part motorcycle vehicle uh, motorcycle helmet for example so let's uh, do this and I've I've tried two ways I've tried the front version and I've tried the back version and I found that for me the back version works best needing to take in one side at a time and it's on and taking it off basically being the same but with some extra fiddle and <clears throat> or uh, to fiddle with something is in Swedish to mess around I don't know I feel yes I know I fiddle is a violin also give me a break internet uh, these are the normal glasses that I play in in other all other um, protections I wear. I have net goggles, I have clear plastic goggles, I have um, like welding uh, both strapped goggles and uh, welding glasses that I just fold on. Uh, and I've never had the problem with a helmet being too narrow. Uh, but as I said, I don't know actually if that's a negative because uh, this. This is so damn good looking. You did something really good here, WarQ. Uh, you took the pink ball helmet that many airsofters hate, and I know other airsofters also hate this because you don't look tactical. No, but this one looks basically or nearly as tactical and good as a real thing uh, in actual operations than the other real pink ball masks do. They really look like paintball masks this is more or less a fast helmet or ops core helmet or whatever the name is for them that you bolted a real visor and mouth guard on and it, i mean this this is thick i mean it's it's like a three quarter millimeter or something without even having a real measuring uh, i mean this this thing is tough um, we're gonna do a stress test on it later but i must say as a first fogging test outdoors, we also have an indoor uh, arena and I need to test it there as well. I think actually that during these conditions with the light breeze and wind, um, that the uh, WarQ helmet A+, plus so far, no fogging. Uh, and there are several, several different uh, solutions you can use to anti-fog them extra if it wears down. Um, so no fogging not for me and i usually fog especially my uh, my real spectacles uh, they fog up maybe not the protection fog up but these goggles uh, or glasses fog up uh, but not in this works 100 uh, percent so far a plus the only minor is as i said civilian glasses was really hard to put on if i had played with my contact lenses bah! it slips on slips off no problem at all nothing nothing wrong with that anybody ever used helmets know the drill can't say anything negative or extra positive about it so um, so far really nice um, we at cannibal hippies are really glad that you um, sponsored us with one helmet or re really sponsored our team leader jog hippie and as I said, you are at uh, the CQB field in Sweden right now, uh, one of them, called uh, Hippie City. Uh, and I'll go and talk to my teammates right now and see what stupid, stupid tests we can try this little baby for. Because WarQ, you really didn't think that we, Campbell Hippies, would do normal reviews of this sucker, would you? Nah. Hey, let's try it as a football! Woo! Really? 
Rugby tackle! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is, uh, uh, as you see, machine gun. It does 100 meter per second, so it's CQB classed. It's actually allowed with zero, uh, zero safety distance. But this is, as you see, perhaps seven and a half meters. And I'll try with one hand to uh, hit this baby. Would that count as a good burst? Let's try this. Yeah, yeah, just some powder. Wipe it off. Yep. It's not even scratches, it's, it's powder. Powder hits or whatever you can call them. And that's it from that blast. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo! Good as new. It's just powder hits. It's like perfectly new. Uh, that, that's Jog Hippie, by the way. La, 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 la. Oh, by the way. Yep. Yes. <laughs> they put my name in it. So, <clears throat> now over to the more serious bit of this review um, this is the standard helmet box that it comes in it says and i've heard and read that this is marked a bit, a bit how open how to open the tape <laughs> with not a knife but come on you know there's ways to open uh, the box you can do it with your teeth for example this as you see is already opened oh no i spoiled the surprise uh, so let's see what's in the box when you get it. Well, surprise, surprise. There's a very well-packaged helmet, of course. And it's hard to get out of it. Standing like this, there we go. One helmet. We have uh, swapped the lenses. Uh, there are several alter alternatives. Uh, buying it, you can buy it with a smoked lens, you can buy it with a bronze lens or the standard clear lens. As you see here, this is uh, upgraded right now to the black lens, the tinted lens, the smoked lens, whatever name you want to call it. Uh, nice for sunny days as you saw when i used it on the field it was a very sunny day i used the clear lens uh, during the whole playtime and i actually found that just by being a helmet the protrusion from my forehead or from my eyes made uh, enough shade for me not to be uh, blended by it not blended that's the swedish word um, being, uh, well, having the sun in my eyes, anyways. So, uh, this is pretty neat. This is the interior of it. Pretty basic. I hope you can see it good enough here. The uh, soft pillows, or whatever you want to call those. The uh, retention strap here. And the normal chin straps. It feels adequately lightweight as well. And you get whoever quality controlled your helmet. This is uh, Jerome. Thank you, Jerome. Or Jerome, I don't know. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. I'm Swedish. I'm not very versed in French or Belgian. I actually don't know which country you're from, but. I know it's uh, your main page, your web page is uh, always in French as uh, the first choice. That's weird. Um, so anyway, thanks, Jerome. And you get uh, and this this is a pretty neat thing that I want you to see. 
This is the hex key. Don't drop this. Oh, okay. So it's a half IKEA key. Uh, an IKEA key would be the uh, whole uh, S. So you're cheap, WarQ. Even IKEA sends you uh, the whole key. No, I'm kidding. This is great that you actually send with uh, the Allen key or the hex key or whatever the name in in Swedish. It's called Insex Nickel. And yeah, I know everybody on the internet can just uh, think about who he said sex. Yeah, so I did. And then you get a full bottom of empty. Yeah. You get the um, quick description card of some kind here. Interesting. And just basically tells what configurations and how you do everything. The back side is just a bit, it's okay, it's the warranty text there. And somewhere I bet it says you're never gonna read this, so we take your firstborn or something like that. So this is good to keep if you wanna have it handy. And then, of course, the full instruction manual in several languages pretty neat pretty big English German Spanish French and still French there and basically what it seems now when I look at it it's it's this card Bigger! Cool. That's really good to have. If you want to mess with your helmet or if you want to reconfigure it or everything else. Hmm? Okay. So that's a small bit about what you get in the box when buying the helmets. But we had some extra stuff as well. Let's do like this. Let's do some inception. Ta-da! I don't know how well you will see this. This is I, I I'm not that technical uh, that I can show you a screen grab from my computer for real. So I'll, I'll do it like this. I'll do internet inception. I'll videotape me using your site on my tablet that yeah that that's great good job Roger good job let's see here we have uh, if you haven't visited WarQ's homepage yet you really should do that because it's really funny playing with the configurator that's where you add up all the little tidbits on your helmet that you want to buy uh, it's really fun it's great 3d I'm not going to load that on my tablet now because it's it's a little bit slow loading. It's a bit slow loading on the uh, actual computer too, um, but it's, it's worth the wait. Um, let's see here. Shop. That's where I'm going. So here we go. You have, when you want to buy your helmet, you get the standard helmet and it's 225 euro as you see there you can change the uh, currency if you want to but I'll, I'll mention euro when you see it and i guess you can see that there too the full face helmet that's the standard version oh yeah and then you have the lenses you can buy extra lenses and you have the um, bandana if you want to have that oh yeah walk you bandana i'll show you that one soon additional shells uh that's pretty smart uh, the first thing i thought was that's pretty stupid why do you want to buy uh different shells but no because if you want to be tactical black for example you want to be a SWAT member or you have for some reason you want to do full black black mesh black helmet um, black dome or shell um, and but you don't want to pay for a full helmet but you still want to use a camo version when you play as a normal player out in the forests you can just put the evening in and exchange everything 
Uh, or if you crack, if you somehow crack or damage your own helmet, you can exchange it. So it's it's pretty good that it's modular. That's that's pretty smart. Thank you. Thumbs up for me. Uh, let's see here. Do we more have? Yeah. This is really great. Uh, actual bolt-in headset straight into the helmet with the normal military PTT plug that you can use for almost well almost you can use for every single radio you buy uh, extra of course you need to have the extra thing from the radio to the ptt plug but everybody knows that by now the picatinny rail i'll come back to that one uh, soon and then you have the screen print and the transport bag and you've already seen me uh, mess around with the transport bag i'll show you that one a little bit more uh, soon too but let's talk about the screen print first. As you see, it's, uh, it's a, a decal, it's an add-on to your lens. It's not something that swaps out your lens to mesh lens like other helmets or mesh goggles do. But it's an actual vinyl decal um, sticker, if you want to use a more simple name, that you put on your lens. And it's... This little gizmo here. Instructions how to do it. And a color coded sticker as well. This, as you see, is the uh, ATAX foliage green. And I'll see if you can. No, well, it's hard on, on the through the paper, but. As you see here, it's micro perforated. It works just as mesh uh, mesh goggles or helmets does. So you, you peek through these tiny, tiny, tiny holes. Uh, and for me, being a mesh user, mesh, uh, since I, as you saw, uh, I use regular glasses uh, ordinary, ordinarily. And um, uh, yes, it, it is a little bit of a hindrance, but you get used to it. So you'll uh, you'll get used to seeing through this or looking through it. Uh, I find it really smart because it takes away, if you want to play as a sniper for example, it takes away this glossy feeling. So you still, you get a really dampened, more full camo version. Smart. Uh, I haven't read actually if this is a, a permanent sticker or if this is removable without leaving residue. A normal how to put on a sticker instruction. No, it doesn't say if it's a one use only. Well, of course, it's, I guess it's a one-time use, but the question was, is it removable without leaving uh, any kind of glue residue on it? I don't know. I'll have to leave that one blank, actually. Dun, dun, dun. Let's have this in picture like here. Yeah. And then we have, oh yeah. I forgot that in the um, box you get some normal just wiping rags. But you don't need cleaning rags because your helmet doesn't fog, does it? Yeah. So of course, it can still get dirty from all the fingerprints of all the people who want to touch you because you're so freaking cool. Yeah. And here are the different lenses the bronze lens which i really like it's sexy also helps i would guess it helps uh, just like yellow contrast glasses it helps with uh, picking up contrast i guess i haven't tried this yet i call these bronze uh, let's see what the web page i think they call them bronze as well Color, choose an option. 
transparent khaki or tan. Interesting. Well, there you go. And they are 35 uh, euro each. And here I can show you a little bit about this. I hope it picks up good. But this is the uh, double lens system. And since you can pick them off or uh, mount them off the helmet, it's pretty easy to keep really clean because you can clean them really good like this instead of fiddling about inside the helmet. And if uh, against any odds you need to add extra anti-fogging um, liquids, you can do it really easily from here instead of having to work inside the helmet like this. And then there's the, the clear one. And uh, as you saw on my earlier video, this is the lens that I fully blasted with my machine gun. And there's not a dead dent, there's not a scratch, there's nothing on them. They are like still brand new. And this is the actual lens we have just swapped on the helmet. So great quality so far. And here is that Picatinny rail that I said I would um, come back to you about. Because the first thing when we unboxed everything and we saw we had this little thingamajig, we thought, oh great, a side rail. But oh no, work you forgot to send the adapter, this isn't working. Or we don't know how to get this to fit here. Oh no, how stupid. But it turns out when I sat down and read the webpage that it was us being stupid. Because... Back to shop. Picatinny, 45 degree. As it says here, the staggered 45 degree Picatinny rail is fixed on your replica also, that means the gun, and allows you to shift your rifle scope. You're able to shoulder your replica while keeping your head straight, maximizing your comfort. So, it, as you, I don't know if I've already cut to it or if I'm going to cut to it now, our teammate aiming down my AK sights. Nu är du med på film. <laughs> Damn it, War Q! You need to tell people to open the strap before they try on your helmet. I'll tell you. It's too big. Yeah, Well, he just said he has too long nose for it to fit inside the helmet. Uh, that's an actual real-life situation you can uh, get. And he's now trying to uh, make aim in just a basically normal uh, uh, sight. And this is one that wants to uh, try and shoot the helmet, yes. Not, not right now. <laughs> so how was it to take aim in uh, the helmet? I haven't tried it myself. It a little bit. Okay, the, uh, the cheek piece, it uh, moves the helmet. But do, did, do you feel like you could play in it like yeah. that? Yeah. Good. Um, because other helmets, the other helmets that I'm comparing size to with this helmet, is really clunky and big. And the width of it makes, me, makes it impossible to aim down the sight. Uh, however, with this on the um, rail on the gun, it will help uh, tilting the uh, sights out too, so you will be able to sight down the gun easier. So that's actually pretty smart. Um, and um, well, 
having it on your web page just tells that you thought this through and I like that. And then we have the ooh that pushed. the other bandana. This is more like the bandana or not just the multi scarf. So this is the little um, smart. In Sweden we call this often a welder's cap or a welder's hat or something like that. So this is also really good to have to pick up the sweat. If you want to use this well, you could still use it just as a hat to show off your love for work you. Or you could use it as they intend to have it inside the helmet as uh, extra hygiene uh, protection to pick up all the sweat along the brim and not have it inside your helmet. So this goes this goes on your head and then that one also goes on your head. Yeah, and it's minty fresh. I know. And no test taste like textile. Stickers. Oh yeah, stickers. Oh yeah. And so I've already shown you most of the uh, the transport bag. But why not show it again a little bit more close up this time? So here is the the transport bag. Ta -ta -ta. I don't know really what much to say about this because uh, on one hand it feels a little bit silly to have a transport bag, a padded transport bag for a protection item like a helmet that's supposed to take damage. But sure it is a pretty nice helmet, you do often pack a lot of gear. Uh, into a normal bag. I know I do. I pack way too much gear into one bag. Boom. Uh, so it could actually be really nice. Then we have these straps here, which I could only guess that it's meant to be like this. Actually, since you do have the shoulder strap also, you do get a shoulder strap with this and you do have uh, an extra handle here and you do have the extra D-rings there. So you could use this as a sexy man bag. And not actually pack it, pack it in your gear at all. You can carry this extra at the side, or you just stuff your helmet in your gear uh, and your gear bag, and you stuff this baby full of candy or other cool stuff. But sure, yeah, I um, I don't think personally that I would buy a transport bag, but I must admit. I do see the value of it. And you have a hook and loop patch here, so you can um, set your name tag or team tag or any other kind of cool patch tag you want to do there. That's hook and loop. Or you could use this as a Teenage Mutant Hero Ninja Turtle shell. No names excluded, but that could have been me. Sweet. 
Let's do some kind of close up here on the helmet. Hoping it focuses as it should. And here is how you get your tactical smile. You unhook this and hook it into your um, cheeks and they pull up so you will always smile and always be friendly on the uh, battlefield. Or, okay, that wasn't the way it was meant. Okay. You all know the drill, you know what they are for. Um, the only, the only really negative thing I discovered, but sure, um, not negative in one way, but that depends on how I want to see it. The GoPro or action cam fastening or helmet add-on that you can buy everywhere. It's really nice that this helmet comes with it at start. But I found out since I have a China knockoff, the tab that goes in here was wider uh, than the, I guess you have molded this after a, a fully branded GoPro uh, adap adapter plate. So the little notch here was too small for my China brand uh, knockoff. <laughs> exact. <laughs> but sure, it would take me 30 seconds with a Dremel. Uh, to uh, cut down the metal and it would fit here but still you could uh, widen this slot here so you could actually accommodate all kinds of brands of action cam plates to have it on there that that's actually the only real negative I have on it and it's a small negative because you would fix it yourself either you would go into making this slot bigger or you would just make the little uh, notch on the plate itself smaller and that's how I would do it and it would still work perfectly so yeah still just up to me feeling that way so I must say WarQ you actually have made a great helmet and that is much more good looking uh, and more tactical. You've taken you've taken the um, protection, the visibility of a paintball mask that many players prefer, and you've merged it nicely with the more tactical and sleek look of a uh, military helmet because. Um, that's that's a real water divider in Sweden at least. Many people want to have a full face protection but they don't want to look like a paintball player and some other pay people smirk at players coming with um, or visiting game fields with paintball masks. And uh, I use a full face mask myself in mesh um, and I don't like the look of the paintball masks. Uh, I like the function and I like the visibility and I think it's great. They provide great uh, protection for players, both advanced and new players. But unfortunately it still looks and are paintball helmets and I play airsoft, not paintball. This merges it perfectly. Much more sleeker, much more nicer. So yeah. Still, it's a pretty hefty price tag. Maybe it will go down when you establish a more broader um, market, when you sell to many, 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 many more people, which you deserve to do. Uh, I, actually, honestly, I don't mind saying that, not just for the review, but I like this helmet. Uh, but the price tag is pretty hefty. I mean, 225 euro for a helmet which you can buy piece by piece similar helmets from China and all the sites or abroad and for like 
almost a tenth of the price. But it doesn't look as well, it doesn't function as well, and it isn't really thought through as this is. So sure, some people buy uh, a PTV to play, uh, other people buy a cheap knockoff brand to play. Some people buy a knockoff red dot to aim, some people buy a night vision to aim. And some people just buy, buy a $5 eye protection, other people buy a 225 euro full face and head protection. It's up to you, it's your hobby, it's your money, you do what you want. Don't smirk at others doing what they can. Be the bigger man, be a greater person, be a greater player and have fun. And I must say, as you saw in my video, I did have fun playing in this. And I might very well buy my own. Totally, because I like this one and I don't mind full face helmets. And uh, that's not looking paintball, that's looking more tactical. And I've said that like 500 times now. It doesn't look like paintball, 501. So, walk you. Good on you. Cannibal Hippies, Swedish Airsoft team, we approve. Peace out. So, this is a big box of secret stuff. We have no idea what it is. Let's see what's in this stuff. I am pretty sure our team leader has opened and made a stupid surprise. It is boxes inside the box. What will I do with this box? Does this fit on the side of the helmet? Yes, it does. Not on this helmet. It fits on the side of this helmet. Aha! It's build on. Okay, okay. I will tape it here. And then I will tape the other. I will tape that here. And now I have a square layer. Yes, very good. And then I will tape this round thing. I will tape that here. And then I will move these. Like this, and like this, and now I'm an elephant. Very good! <laughs> so what is this? This is also already opened by our boss, I think. Or it is the Swedish customs that think you have uh, smuggled drugs in here. And yes, disclaimer, I will uh, pick up the trash later. Right! Hey, wait a minute, this doesn't say do not open with knife. Now I open with knife! Oh, not that way. Oh! It is very much taped. Rocket game! Oh, come on! Custom-made helmet bag! Really, work you? Really? <laughs> You actually sell custom-made bags for your freaking helmets. I don't know if I hate you or I love you. This is so cool, it's ridiculous. Okie dokie then. Hey, wait a minute, does this work as a football? Oh, I missed. Yep, it does. Is it a uh, Chrono 6 yours? Yes, you can play with that helmet too. Oh, looky looky. Now I will try the second more padded helmet. Yes. Very good video here. Filming with one hand and doing stuff with the other. Very good. Usually when I do that kind of video, I'm home alone. Oh, I mean, no. Ah, you can use it as a strap on. Yes, very good. Hold this camera!
<laughs> this is very good new helmet from WarQ. I am now Lord Dark Helmet. <laughs> it is a little bit hard to put on. I am now wearing the new WarQ helmet. I can't breathe in this thing. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. It's my gun. It, it's not very good to play in because you can't see anything, but it, it's very protected. <laughs> Where's your strap on? It, 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 it's this one. Oh, I have it backwards on. Now I see. Ah, I can play Ninja Turtles too. <laughs> Excellent.